well, hello everybody. Hi YouTube world. <laughs> I am on my way to get my uh, curbside pickup from Walmart. Yes, I am. So, what is new YouTube? so quiet sitting back like a little mouse watching stuff happening in the background no <laughs> I mean, I just been extremely busy extremely 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 busy um, you have no idea all the stuff going on it is amazing. Do you know, like, when you want to better your life, right? When you do something, make a big, gigantic change. Like, stuff and circumstances smack you in the face to try to make you not advance, not get there, not get where you want to go. Oh, sorry, no. Not get where you want to go. You're working hard, working hard, working hard. You know, do you do all the right things and everything. And still, you get hit get smacked you know with everything and anything that could be like in your way or you know like try to stop you um, discourage you all kinds of stuff I mean that's how the world is right this is how we deal with stress and stuff and I'm not very good at stress so but yeah it's okay it's all right we're gonna get there mm-hmm Altercation, you know, like this big, like, brawl thing, and you know, so, so he, I guess he got, you know, kind of worried, you know, like all these kids now, you know, now I really hit the hornet's nest, right? So he, um, he had a pocket knife and he like stabbed five people, five kids. He stabbed them. He stabbed the girl that he hit. He stabbed her in the lung, like she had a punctured lung and. She had something, I don't know if it was like her liver or something got pierced. She like had needed major surgeries. He stabbed another kid like right in the heart. That that poor child was dead before he even hit the ground. He was dead. He punctured his heart. Like he literally, he was, a, and then the other kid, he put the knife in and pulled the knife up. 
up so he literally disemboweled the, the child so if you're squeamish sorry but he literally did that like you know he like he did as much damage as he possibly could to all these kids like literally this kid is holding his 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 bowels in his hands He's, he thought he was going to die you know i'm surprised he was really sick because it was in the water and stuff and that's very that's very dirty you know like so he probably had all kinds of bacteria and stuff terrible he was in the hospital for a really long time it's taken i think two years to get this case going so you know and then um so that's still going i don't know what the outcome is going to be for that but you know and i do not like that like i know the defense attorney is working for his client but this defense attorney is like really nasty he's like really mean he's like you know these kids are probably scarred for life you know they saw their friend killed you know the, they saw their other friend have his bowels his guts hanging out everywhere you know and he's like oh right you could have just walked away right you could have just walked away right right and then the one kid who his best friend was killed he goes i really wish that we had you know like you know what i mean and they're going to suffer for guilt you know stress nightmares and this guy just had like no i mean i know he's not supposed to have compassion but really like the, some of the things he was asking was just bizarre bizarre things like you know wouldn't you agree that you could have just walked away and the kid said well he could have too which that was right and then he goes yeah we did say things he said of course we said things he said he was looking for little girls so and he's like oh no he said he was looking for his watch or his phone
stressed out. So I was talking to my son the other day. Life is just like so stressful right now for everybody. I mean, not just me, like, but for everybody, you know? So it's just uh, like, you don't know what direction you're going in right now. This direction, that direction. So I just take it at one day at a time, right? And then I'm following that kid who, um, I don't know how he popped up onto my thing. He dances every day. He does like fist dance. And he um, he's a recovering, um, you know, he's a recovering alcoholic. I don't know, uh, mostly drugs. So, but he's really doing it. He's like really, really giving his all. And God bless him. Because he's just so positive, you know. So, and he wants to reach out to others that are thinking that it's hopeless and I mean, he's got such a good attitude. So, I really do. I really do enjoy every day watching his little dance and reading his little quote for the day. So, I get a kick out of it. I already linked him in. The, he's down in my, in my um, comment. You know, my comments. But, you know, that section there. That thing. <laughs> so, yeah. My community tab. Ooh. That's what I was looking for. So, yeah, he's there. So, you know, I don't know. I'm just trying, like, to be positive. And it's, like, so hard to be positive right now. It's so hard. So, like, last night I cried all night long like a baby. So, like, I have a headache today. My freaking eyes are burning. So, I don't know. It's just one of those things, you know. Like, I wish I could tell you, but I don't want to tell you because too many people have too many things to say and I'm just not about that today like I'm, I'm not in the mood for stuff like that so yeah I didn't watch the Hensons I don't know if they were even on I have no clue I don't know what they're they're doing over there in their yonderville over there except for complaining so my mom was back in the hospital she had another stroke So now she's on these new blood thinners, which is helping her. She got her balance back, which is, which is really good that she got her balance back. Um, but it was scary. She was in hospital for like three days. They were trying to keep her in over Easter, and she, she wasn't having it. She literally checked herself out of the hospital. I mean, she's grown adult. Can't stop her, right? She's an adult, right? So I just hope that she really, really takes it serious and cracks herself down and gets her diet back and, you know, her medication straightened and stuff like that. Uh, my granddaughter, my oldest granddaughter is graduating this year from high school. I cannot believe it. Time has just flown and flown. I don't know, like, she's having a graduation this year, but I don't know what I'm going to do. I think my daughter told me something about it's going to be on Zoom. So I think I'll, I'll watch it on Zoom because I don't know. I can't. I can't guarantee that I can get to Pennsylvania because without stuff in a home, I really can't leave the animals. So, you know, I can't just like, you know, if it was just cats, maybe I could leave for the weekend, but it's not. It's my pup. So, my Mr. Ollie and Lucy and uh, my little deaf puppy. He's, he's, oh. I watched this lady on TikTok, right? She has Branston Pickle. I don't I forget the other one's name, but they are hilarious. They, her Branston looks just like my cops, my copper, with his hair. His, he's got this wild ass hair, and he's like just the cutest little thing. I love him. I love him so much. But he's deaf. Um, can you see anything? I can't see anything. No. Um, but he's deaf, right? So doesn't hear a stinking thing. And then, but he like feels the vibration, like if you stop on the floor or whatever he could hear it or feel it and then like turns around looks at you like what <laughs> so and he doesn't realize like how strong he really is for such a little dog he doesn't really realize that you know he's strong he's a strong dog so like he's always trying to play somebody always gets hurt and he doesn't know that he's hurting them because he can't hear them so it's it's a circle we have a circle thing going on constantly so but he's such a cute dog I love him so much so and Ollie Ollie's like uh uh he doesn't want nothing to do with him he's like you keep that dog away from me <laughs> so yeah he's a, it's funny it's really funny so I'm trying to get Ollie in to get fixed and get um his his yearly shots done and I'm having such a hard time with the place I go to get him fixed I'm having a really hard time so I don't know what's going on why they don't have any um, any hours like available because you got to call him for the dogs so I'm waiting for them to return my call so that's another thing so I'll be up here tomorrow 
Walmart, gonna get my pickup order, gonna run into the Dollar Tree, and then I'm going to be home faster than anything because I don't really want to be out that long. So yeah, I gotta wash my floor today. I'm so excited about that. Washing the floor is always exciting. All right, guys, so I don't want to keep you too long. Really nothing going on in my life um, that's worth really saying. I have a big surprise coming in a couple weeks, and I will tell you all about that. All right, guys, I'll see you later. See you in my next video. Bye!